Ha! Gotcha. Nothing like it. It helps when you spell the password, right? Let's have a look here. The Hacknet project and also the NSEC project. Let's have a look though. Propagation. Are you seeing this network? There's that new security scattered about on almost everything. But I'm picking my way through it. There are still a few holes, but progress is slow. I've attached the IP of what I'm looking into now. From the side, I'm coming at it. I can't see any cracks in it yet. Are you having any luck? If you find its admin pass, reply to this email with it. I get the feeling that serves as the key to where Bitfell fits into all this. The talk of this Hacknet project showing up is kind of worrying too. Have you ever heard of that? A whole OS rewrite. We can look into that later. For now, see if you can find a way into this relay. We'll work out our next step after that. We'll look into uh, Prometheus and Romulus. Okay. They, he wants me to get into the, uh, the re relay server. I think I can do that. Let's go back to the Prometheus server. Have a look around in here. Okay. Hmm. Hey, Chen, connect. Command, connect. Should appear to be universal, common, and unc. Okay. Go to the Hacknet Management Mail Relay, hnmanager at ntech.com. This will send out to all valid personnel. Sync devices. Including all the OS. There must be some EOS devices attached to this thing. But if they run out of power, need a wipe, do it from Prometheus. Yeah, okay, so we've got two uh, two e phones now. Interesting. Invitability. Through which all authentication attempts and admin command pass was a uniquely protective level of security for systems against all conventional penetration. It aims to be completely transparent to end users. Paired with the Hacknet project, which seeks to demonstrate the flaws in current security systems. NSEC clearly why it should and will be the new accepted minimum standard of true digital security and confidence. Freedom you want, the freedom you deserve. That's very interesting. So it seems like NSEC are trying to create a security software by the name of Invitability. And they're going to use Hacknet to show why it's needed. It's very interesting. Let's go after these two devices before we have a crack at uh, Romulus. Oh, yeah, the good news. I already know the password. What? Nothing, nothing. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is good. What do we got? We got, um, and stand forward at ntech.com that's merlock33 this looks interesting, that's a password of some description 
Notes, passes. One, two, three. One, one, three. Hacknet. Standard uncracked ePhone 4S. Connection should fail as without our so there's no open apps. Okay, we'll try the other phone. Because that looks interesting. I wonder if we can get into the Rom Romulus server with that. Secure shell. Insecure. Should not connect to any internal services or mail systems and should not store any sensitive testing. Writing note when I'm remotely. Hmm. Well, I wonder actually if we could get into the mail server. Standoff. No. I dare say it's the mail server. Where's the mail server? I've typed that backwards. And stand forward. Stand. Stand for. Okay. We can get rid of that one because that's incorrect. Now go to the log. This. We'll bounce back over to the mail server. See if we can get into it. Where'd it go? Mail server. In Stanford at ntech.com. The block 33. No. What about the uh, this one? Romulus. Nope. One more.
Maybe what I'll try and do is uh, get into Rom Romulus using that password. Interesting. Absolutely no dice. D eighty eight V A N N X. Oops. Can we get into this? D eighty eight V A N S. No, no dice. Passes one, one, and three. Now, I'm sure I've got that right. There doesn't seem to be anything useful there. What about the Hacknet project? Doesn't seem like it.
Interesting. That that password seems to be what we need. Let's let's just try replying with the password. In Stanford. Com. That's Murloc 33. No. We haven't got there. Oh, shit. Well, we might have to play around with this for a bit. 